Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to the Code Podcast, Code Paints Podcast. I, I really don't know what to call this yet. Um, I was thinking of maybe saying maybe like the Stay Creative or Stay Weird Podcast. I don't know. Um, some of you may have noticed on my Instagram name, I changed it from Decode Design Co. If you were even paying attention to uh, Code Paints, it's it's a lot easier and I think it's just cooler. Um, my nickname from my best friend, um, he just, my name's Cody and he started calling me Code a long time ago. Come on, Code. Come on, Code. Come on, Code. Yeah! Oh, and that's just what my close family and friends have always called me. So um, why not just make my art alias that? Yeah, so if you have any name suggestions, um, just Put them in the comments below. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, you know, I, I recently got a new job as a content creator and I love it. I really love my job. I love what I get to do every day. I get to create content, photos, um, YouTube and be on social media and uh, just get to be really creative in my day to day. It's really awesome that I get to do that for somebody else and I still get to create some cool stuff, but I still have that like little itch I want to scratch for my own stuff. So I wanted to hop back on. I love all things media. So I figured um, this would be a kind of a cool thing to do. I'm going to start uh, vlogging again. I'm going to try and make all these around five minutes or less. Um, and if I have a guest on, maybe a little bit more. So what this podcast is really going to be about is everything that's going on with me and my career as a painter, as an artist. And that's actually starting to uh, really pick up some momentum. I've been fortunate to do a lot of custom pieces for uh, some of my friends, family, and new people coming in through my Instagram, which is awesome. And I'm I'm getting now an opportunity to do things for people that I look up to and follow on Instagram, which is really awesome. So you'll see a lot of that coming through. Also, what I'm going to do is, you know, I have a lot of cool stuff that I kind of have in my home office and stuff that I want to share with you guys. So I'm going to be doing unboxings. I'm going to I'm going to kind of just do it all. I'm going to go through a little bit in this podcast, which this one, since I did a long intro, it's going to be a little over five minutes. So I'm sorry, but thanks for sticking with me. So one of the first things I kind of wanted to highlight um, and do kind of in each uh, podcast episode would maybe to be to like highlight one of my pieces that I posted recently. And so with that one, I'm going to do my off white painting that's right here. And what I've been really excited about lately is experimenting with different textures and different paints and different colorways, really trying to limit myself on some of the pieces to, you know, two to three colors, uh, really trying to get my hand as smooth as possible with some of the line work. And then in some pieces just to say F it and just have, you know, go crazy and not have the brush strokes really matter that much. So in this piece, everything's pretty tame, pretty sleek. I have a, a deep love for streetwear. So I think that's where the off-white logo came in. If you guys don't know off-white, obviously check it out. They're huge right now. And nothing in particular with the characters. Um, I just... Those are all characters I've always liked. That's kind of what I do with a lot of my pieces. Sometimes they'll make sense. Sometimes they won't. Sometimes the lines just kind of work and fit together uh, with the painting. So with that one, I use this really cool crackle um, paint by Montana. I love that stuff. I had to experiment. You have to, you know, just like with anything, you got to experiment a little bit and uh, just find out because you can either do too much and your cracks will be really big or too little and the cracks will be really tiny. So you just have to find that sweet spot that works for you. And then to finish it off, I use these um, gold pens. So these guys are pretty cool. It's um, Pen Touch. So I live in Southern California for those of you that uh, don't know. And I get all my art supplies at the Art Supply Warehouse in Westminster. Dude, they have everything. The staff is phenomenal. And uh, they're super nice and helpful. Every time I go in there, I always have a million questions and I've uh, made friends with a couple of the employees. So uh, shout out to you guys. Uh, thank you for always helping me. Yeah, if you uh, don't have an art supply warehouse near you, which I don't know if there's even that many of them, uh, Blick is another good one. And you can really uh, make it happen with anything you need. So don't be afraid to try stuff.
I'm going to try and uh, answer some questions from you guys on my Instagram. I might not be able to get through each of them, so um, I might just backlog them and you know answer maybe one or two every podcast. So here we go. At Patrick underscore Veray. Hey, Patrick, what's up? Uh, what's your key to balancing work and your art? You know, just like anything that you love and you want to do, obviously you have to pay the bills. If you're able to incorporate what you love and like what you're doing for work, that will help your soul a lot. That's it. It worked out for me. Um, it took a long road to get here. It hasn't been easy, but I'm very uh, thankful I've stuck with that and I can now um, pay my bills doing artistic things. And that's awesome. But it's not easy and it's not for everyone. To keep that balance, I don't know. It, it depends on where you're at in life and in your craft and whatever you're doing. And it also depends on if you're in a relationship or not. Because if, if you're not, dedicate all your extracurricular time towards that and set goals for yourself, man. And just try and hit something every night and get something done and use each day as a building block until you get to where you want to be. That being said, you know, I realize everyone has to, you know, have a pretty full-time job and you know, some of us have kids, some of us have, uh, like right now I'm planning a wedding, I got a full-time job, I'm trying to paint, I'm trying to do shows, I'm trying to do all this for you guys. So if you do have a significant other, uh, have that conversation with them and really tell them your goals and where you want to be because then they might be a little bit more understanding of the time that you're going to have to put in to your craft and not be able to spend that much time with them. But also maybe set aside some time time like to do fun things like on the weekends and when you're there with that someone make sure you're present and make sure you're with them I'm guilty of not always being able to do that but my fiance sees like you know where my brain's at all the time and luckily I'm with someone that uh really loves me for that and has seen because of my hard work where it's led me and I've always kind of had these goals and she sees these things happening and it's really cool now that we get to share that journey together. But to sum that all up, um, just do your best, man. I mean, like get off work, stay hungry. Hell, if you can stay up till like midnight, you know, just grinding it out and you know, you're good on all other fronts, do it. Man, I can see why these things are uh, so long. I'm sorry for the long winded answer, but I really want to give you guys um, some information that will, I don't know, help you in your day to day. If it does, then great. And um, so yeah, moving on. I didn't want to make this whole podcast and vlog thing always about me. I do have other artists that I follow and want to give shout outs to and highlight. So the first one coming up is Joey Allen and you can find him at Joey Allen Creations. He's super dope, and lately he's been doing these really cool Metal Flake uh, Pokemon paintings. I know he did um, a Kobe Bryant shoe uh, painting that he did a giveaway for, and that was super sick. Uh, one of the reasons I wanted to highlight him is just because he's been a really super cool dude. It was so funny. We were doing a painting. Never met the guy. Never seen his Instagram. I forgot how I even came across it. But we were doing a painting that was almost very similar in colors and in line work. And um, I just reached out because I you know, was instantly a fan. I was like, hey, man, this is super cool. I love what you're doing. And uh, he reached back out. And we kind of exchanged messages back and forth. And uh, he's just been super nice. And so when I had been working with the Metal Flake spray paint, um, I'm sure you guys have seen some of that stuff. It just wasn't giving me the right shimmer that I really wanted. And I had seen that he had been doing it and really getting like the result that I had wanted to get. And so, you know, not everybody's going to be super cool when you reach out. Some people are more protective of things than other people. But he was super cool and you know told me the company that he got the metal flakes from just got mine in and i was toying around with them before work and i i'm crazy about it. i'm gonna paint with them right after this joey thank you so much man uh hopefully this gets you some more exposure i know you have a ton of followers on instagram but you're the man keep at it and uh hopefully one day we can paint 
together in person, man. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for today's podcast. I really appreciate you hanging out with me. I got tons of more ideas, tons of more stuff I want to give you guys. It's all going to be on YouTube at Code Paints. Uh, you can tell them about my Instagram. That's also at Code Paints. Just Code Paints everything. I paint. I'll paint it all. If you want to uh, message me about any doing any custom painting work for you or if you see something on my Instagram that you like and you have a question about it, feel free to reach out to me. You can also email me. Um, I'll put everything down in the descriptions below. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate your time. Uh, thank you so much for supporting me, checking out all my stuff, giving me likes, and being my friends. All right, guys. Uh, until the next one, stay weird, get creative. We'll see you later.